Hello. Hello and welcome. This is my studio vlog. Please don't look, well, yeah, you can look at the mess, but please don't judge me on the mess. If you've seen my uh, previous videos, I've been drawing 12 of my favorite YouTubers. So I've got one more to do because I can't count, so I'm doing 13. I wanted to finish on this last one. I uh, don't know if you can see the picture up there. That is Felicia Day. This is the sketch I've done so far. Um, I'm just watching Bird Box while I draw, which is always good. I have three screens. So I've got my reference there, I've got Netflix there, and this is my Cintiq. So I am going to, excuse my uh, noisy chair. It's, I'm just going to finish this off and I also want to show you how I do the thumbnails on the videos for this series because um, I cut out my picture from the background and I just thought I'd show you that, uh, how I do it in Photoshop because it's quite helpful. Yeah, I just thought I'd do a little studio vlog to just show behind the scenes. Um, I'm going to finish this off now but first let me just show you how I move my Cintiq. Let me just get a better angle there you go uh, it's on an ergotron arm which is attached to the back of my desk so I can just pull it forward and tilt it down and then I've got a perfectly good angle to draw at Hang on. so I have my keyboard here on the side because I use um, a lot of shortcuts when I'm using Photoshop although the Cintiq does actually come with this little handheld remote control thing and you can program all these buttons on it to Sort of do whatever functions you want it does have different knobs and indents and stuff so that you can just feel for what button you want there's a this top bit here is like a wheel thing i, sh I should use that more note just now 2019 use that more also it's worth saying that i use bsr screen recorder to record this but i'm thinking i might change that because it doesn't actually show the proper resolution when i'm drawing uh, I've noticed that mostly when I do gradients, you can see that it has banding. I don't know if you've noticed that in my previous videos. I mean, I could use OBS, which is Open Broadcaster Studio, which is what I use to live stream, live stream with, because that's got like a screen recording capabilities and it's free. So there you go. So I'm just going to finish this off now and carry on watching Bird Box. Okay, I am done with inking the sketch. I don't know if you can see that. Let me give you a close up. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Felicia Day in black and white. I'm gonna color this in now and then probably go to bed because there's nothing else I wanna do tonight. But I do need to get this done tonight so I can edit it in the morning, get it uploaded tomorrow as well before I go to Dungeons and Dragons. So let's get coloring. So when I'm actually coloring in the face, one thing that I do is put down a base layer and then I wanna put the shadows and the highlights on top of it. So what I will do is have a new layer and then if you hold down control while you click on the thumbnail of your mid base color, then it will select it. So when I'm on my uh, shadow layer, I can just draw in the shadows and even if I draw outside the lines of the base layer, it's not actually going to show up because it's going to stay within the selected bit so it just makes it so much easier just when you're drawing to, to do it that way at least I do it that way anyway and I'm going to do the same thing with the lips I've already colored in a mid-tone base layer so I'm just going to select that so that I can draw just within the lines and put down the shadows and the highlights
And surprise, surprise, I'm gonna do the same thing with the hair. I've got a base color down and I'm just gonna select it and then add in the shadows and the highlights. Uh, another thing you can do now that I've got the hair colored in, I'm going to select the hair, but then I'm going to select the inverse so that I don't draw where the hair is. And that way I can color in this bottom piece here where her shirt is covered up by some of her hair. I can just scribble straight over it and not draw over the top of her hair. Or you just set up your layers so that you can just draw under it. Done. Okay, I'm going to show you how to remove the background from um, a person's figure, um, namely cutting out hair, which can be quite tricky, especially if you've got really blow away fluffy hair. Well, mine's not too bad. Um, it's also, I'm also going to say this straight out if it's a busy background where the contrast between the hair and the background is just not. Um, significant enough. So if I was in front of a really dark background, um, it, it, it would be really quite difficult and I'm not sure that this is really going to work. But for me, uh, as you can see, my background behind me is quite light. So just going to the screenshot here, I've got all these thumbnails here and I'm going to choose this top one because that's the one I've got left that I wanted to use for this one. I'm just going to get rid of the text for now. This was a previous one that I had, previous file that I had ready. So what you're going to do I'm just going to get the pointer, press V or press the select tool up here. Okay, so I've got my picture. What I want to do is go over to the channels layer. And if you can't see your channels window, just go up to window and select channels and it should, sh should show up. So the next thing you want to do is, as you can see, all of these ones here that I'm highlighting, well, not highlighting very well. Um, you won't see them, all you will see is blue, green, red and RGB which is all three together. So what you want to do is click on each of these, blue, green and red and find the one that has got the most contrast between the foreground and the background. So I'm going to choose the green one because my hair looks darkest against the white background and I'm just going to drag that to the new layer so I can create a copy of the green layer. So now what I want to do is go up to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and I want to increase that contrast a bit more. So I bring the whites right up and the darks right down. And you need to play around with these settings to get it so that you don't lose too much of the detail. Um, but I think I'm going to leave mine about there. Now once you're on this part, you want to be painting in just black and white. So I'm just going to get the paintbrush tool and I'm going to increase my paintbrush size and I'm just going to paint black over my face. So the point of this, what we're doing, is we want to get a, an absolute outline of my face. So that means you want just one colour, you want just black and white so that we can make a selection and from the selection we're going to make a mask. And once we've made the mask, then we can cut my face out and put it on a different background. Right, so that looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna to switch to white and just paint out some of the background, like in large chunks, which is, which is quite easy. I'm just gonna leave the bits closer to my head. Okay, so now that you're left with this and you've gotten as close to the hairline as you can, you want to get the burn tool. And what we want to do with that is just go over the edge and all these flyaway hairs, it will just darken them, will burn them into the image. So you can see they're darkening up quite well. So you just want to go over just some of, just some of the hairs that you want to keep. I mean, you could probably do without most of these. And then once you've done that, you want to go to the dodge tool and you want to paint over the white bit as close to the hairline as you can get just to whiten up the edge against the hair. 
I'm actually being quite messy with this because once we've gotten past this stage, we can actually adjust the mask on the front end. So I'm just, in fact, let's just leave it there and just carry on. So I'm gonna press M to select the marquee tool uh, and then I'm gonna press control and click on the thumbnail. And as you can see, it's made a selection based on the black, uh, sorry, on the white area. I'm just gonna inverse that. And then click back on your RGB layer. You can untick the green one that you've got. So now you can see I'm selected. Go back to your layer. And then once you're back onto your layers, you click here down the bottom and you wanna select mask and you'll see it cuts me out and I've got some other layers that are already turned on. That's why you're seeing stuff behind me. I'm just gonna turn these layers off so that you can see I've now been cut out. Uh, I'm just gonna put in uh, background, that'll do. Actually, let's make it a bit darker. So once you put a background in, you can actually see around the edge of my hairline, it's a bit of a halo, so it's not quite the best selection. So I'm gonna to go to brushes. I'm just gonna choose a really normal round brush. I'm gonna reduce the hardness down to zero. And now all I wanna do is make sure you have your mask selected and I'm just going to make sure I've got black selected and then I'm just going to paint away the background. In fact, I'm gonna reduce the opacity. So I just do this gently. I think I'm gonna lose some of these flyaway hairs here because I can't quite in between it. Now for all the other thumbnails I did, believe me, they looked a lot better than this one. Of course, typically it has to be this one where I'm showing you what I'm doing that I do the worst job. Now if you do a mistake and you actually go over your head like I've just done there, and if you can't undo it, all you need to do is just paint back in with white. Um, turn the opacity up for that. So we're just painting in black and white and just keep going until I'm going to get rid of all of that actually because I don't want it sticking out the side of my head. I'm going to reduce the opacity again. There we go. And it's easy as that. So I hope that that hair cutting out little mini tutorial was helpful uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out so I'm gonna go to bed for now and tomorrow I'm gonna edit the video for this um, but it'll already be up on my channel so if you haven't watched it the link will be in the description below Postman just came. I've got a new external hard drive because having videos certainly fills up storage. So yes, I've got an extra four terabytes. Awesome. Also just got another parcel. It was just something that I just, just, just had to buy. It's just an enamel pin of a D20 die. Yay. Um, I'm dressing up for Dungeons and Dragons because it's our Christmas special. I'm a tiefling rogue and my horns didn't arrive in time so I'm having to improvise. I'm going to create some horns out of my hair. Okay, there's one. But I've just realised I've got to catch the train there so I've got to like go out in public like this. <laughs> Fuck it, that'll be fun. There we go. I've arrived on your planet and I'm coming for you. That'll do. It's all, it's all just a bit of fun. That's fine. That's fine. I like it. Okay, I am really running out of time now. I have just finished the video. It's 1.30, so I'm half an hour late. Oh my God. I've got 15 minutes to get out of here uh, and go to D&D, otherwise I'll be late. <laughs> but I really want to get this um, done before I go. 
so I'm just exporting it now. It shouldn't take too long. It's only a five minute video. Um, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro, by the way. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that before. And if I can, I will go over some of the techniques on how I edit and stuff, um, if you're interested. Also, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these studio vlogs, because any kind of feedback would be very helpful. Um, but for now, I'm going to go to D&D &D as soon as I get this uploaded. Um, and then I will catch you when I get back. <laughs> My car's broken down at the moment, so I need to catch the train to a friend's house where we play D&D. &D. Hello, good morning. Right, while I wake up and eat my Vegemite toast, <laughs> I'm going to start working on some Instagram posts today. I'm going to use Premiere Pro to edit them. I'm making a square format video, very simple. I'm just going to do um, a ske rough sketch to finished ink work to finished artwork, a preview of the artwork I've been doing because I finished the draw my favorite 12 YouTubers and I drew 13 of them. <laughs> so I've finished that and I just want to um, post the artwork now because I haven't revealed the artwork for that yet. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, do follow. Um, the info is, it's just one star designs, it's easy. And then once I've done that, it's just editing all day. I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna, um, I'm probably gonna watch some Netflix in the background, you know, find something to watch, chill out. I might try and clean up this mess which is behind me and the mess which is in front of me that you can't see. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going to edit all day and then relax for Christmas, which is coming. Ooh. And then the end of the year. Oh my god. Is it really the end of 2018? Okay, I'm all done with creating those um, Instagram videos. So what I've done is I've moved them over to my Dropbox so that I can access them on my phone. And over the next few days, I'm going to release the artwork to my Instagram account. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So that's it for my 12 favorite YouTuber series. I can't believe I got myself into that. It just sort of happened. And then I've been busy doing something every day for two weeks. So I'm looking forward to taking some time off during Christmas and New Year. But for now, I'm going to be wrapping Christmas presents. Presents for my friends. I had um, my wanted posters printed up with them on it and I turned all my friends into criminals. So I'm just gonna roll those up and just tie them up with a ribbon for Christmas. And then I think I'll probably watch a movie 
My dinner's in the oven. I'm testing out something that I can have on Christmas Day. I'm testing out a vegan option, which should hopefully be good. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'll watch a movie and chill out and have an early night-ish. And also I wanna start preparing for some videos in the new year for this channel. Uh, I've got some lots of ideas. In fact, see all those colors behind me. That is my rack of acrylic paints and I've got something really fun planned with those. So I wanna get started on that next week. Like as soon as Christmas is over, I'm gonna get started on that. So if you're watching this video well after Christmas and New Year's, then check out my channel because that video will probably be live already. So hello to everyone in the future. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop now before I start getting really stupid. I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog. Please let me know, leave me some feedback in the comments below. I'd be interested to know if you wanna see more like this, you know, where I look kind of a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the uh, thumbs up thing. I don't know what that does, but hit it anyway, you know, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye. And yes, I do pretty much live in this top. I do wash it though. Just wanted to point that out.